Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about something that got headlines recently. Um, Tesla owners, they couldn't charge their cars in the cold, and this was a guy who got stranded on uh, Christmas Eve. Here's a brother-daughter duo that had to stop six times in one day <laughs> to charge their rented Tesla in cold weather. And uh, Band Network, they they covered both of those stories in, in the same article here. And um, so, yeah, this, this was covered a few places. And um, this uh, duo, the they drove from Atelsa, uh, from Orlando, Florida, to Wichita, Kansas. And... Um, they said that it got to the point where the battery would drain faster than it would charge. When they set off, they said they could drive for two and a half hours before needing to charge. And then they ended up having to stop every one to one and a half hours to charge for an hour, then an hour and a half, and then two hours, he said. The charging just kept getting longer. So um, they said every time they had to stop, it was between 25 and 30 bucks, even though um, the Hertz website said that running a Tesla was always cheaper than gas, but they didn't find that to be their experience. And um, the they said when they first called Hertz, the agent told them they hadn't heard, they had nothing but um, calls for Tesla that day. And they had no idea why, um, you know, this this duo was having issues. And, uh, you know, that I, I haven't checked into Hertz Reynolds lately, but I'm wondering if they're getting nothing but calls for Tesla. <laughs> what is that? Maybe that's the only car they're renting. I don't know. Maybe the government got involved here and gave them incentive to, you know, help push the Tesla's that yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the government's deal with Tesla is, but I know Elon's neck deep in with the government and uh, SpaceX and and you know um, I, I know he had meetings to get funding, you know, took his private jet to get funding for uh, Tesla and the government, you know, they they definitely <laughs> accommodated Elon. But um, never once since November 93 has had a minute for actual solutions that doesn't require government intervention, really. We just need to get people on the, you know, the right path here. We, they just need to be leaders and to get the country leading and, and ending our disposable society and hemp and, and literacy. You know, we definitely could have led the world and and it wouldn't have cost much, and the government wouldn't be getting involved with fair market competition, really. But um, that they are definitely a proponent of um, Elon's, and because you know electric vehicles, that's that's Elon had some help there. So I, I don't know what what Hertz is renting, but um, Hertz is pushing the cars. Uh, they said they have not experienced a significant increase in communication from customers about the battery of their EV rentals. However, battery range varies by vehicle manufacturer and uh, can be influenced by multiple factors, including weather and driving conditions. And, um, yeah, he, um, Stevenson said Hertz told him to go to the nearest branch to get a car. However, they didn't have, they didn't, they don't have Teslas there, not even the equivalent. So he's headed back into a Nissan Rogue Sport, and he said, at least it's economical. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, electric vehicles don't really charge in the cold, and they're, according to this duo, um, not economical. A and then uh, another guy here, th this paragraph is about this, this other guy here, and um, it was it was not even very cold. It was 19 degrees Fahrenheit, which, you know, living in ski towns, I'll tell you, a 20 degree day is, is kind of considered maybe like a perfect winter day, like winter warm, <laughs> you know, um, 20 degrees, especially if it's sunny, not windy. Uh, I mean, it's 
it's very comfortable <laughs> if you spend a lot of time outdoors, you know. So, I, I mean, 20 degrees isn't even cold, really. And yet, um, he couldn't get his Model S to charge at, at home. He started at home. He did a video about it. And, and then he went to a super uh, station and he couldn't get it to charge there either. I don't want to play the video. I don't want any video strikes or anything. But uh, here's a screenshot of what his car was telling him when he was trying to charge it. And this was like, like he started it. It wouldn't do this. It said battery is heating. Keep um, charge cable inserted. And then he went back an hour and a half later, and it still was saying this. And like another hour and a half later, it was still saying this. The guy couldn't charge his car all day in 19 degree weather, which which is not that cold, at least for somebody that spends way too much time outside in the winter. Um, but yeah, this guy couldn't charge his car either. And um, this is an electric. Electric, electric article, and they say that they said that um, it's true that electric vehicle charging is affected by colder temperatures, but this is not normal. So maybe you know this guy's what sixteen thousand dollar battery isn't normal. I, I don't know. Um, they said it takes time for a battery pack to warm up enough to accept higher charge rates. That's why uh, Tesla built in a feature that enables the battery pack to condition itself for charging ahead of time if you enter a charge point in the navigation system. And <laughs> what? Well, I don't know what that has to do with cold, cold weather. But um, they said, so yes, there is issues with charging and colder temperatures. But this is not it. This is a malfunction with the gentleman's specific vehicle, according to Electric. So um, maybe, I mean, every, you know, everything has quirks. And, um, but this was another Another instance of people in cold weather having trouble with their promoted as God's electric vehicles, and they're they're no better. Okay, they're they're no better than gas powered cars down here at the bottom of this uh, fan network. They they have the video uh, of this guy who was out there, and and uh, I did a video about this. He has he has his gas powered generator in his trunk and and he's trying he's he's running out of a charge and he needs gas on the side of the road and these people stop and they're like what do you need gas for and they're like well you know for this because this is how you power the car and <laughs> i mean i did a video about it and because he carries a generator a gas generator that plugs in and powers up his electric car so these cars are no better than fossil fuel gas powered cars. I mean, even most of the electricity in the power grid comes from fossil fuels burning coal, the same as burning gas, the same greenhouse gases, the same pollutants, the same issues. So um, electric vehicles, they are not the godsends that the government would like you to believe and the government is shoving down your throat. So stay tuned, people.